Hey guys, Ham Solo here, Kilo Zero Foxtrot Yankee Romeo, and in the GMRS world, WRMV759. Uh, I am in Colorado Springs today, and I am assisting uh, the new Colorado Springs GMRS club with setting up a repeater. And so I'm at a undisclosed location, and we are going to proceed with trying to set up a repeater antenna system uh on uh, a nearby building so see uh how much i can get on video uh, i'm not sure uh how they feel about me recording it all uh but uh should be kind of interesting so we'll have to wait and see so stand by all right we're up in the uh, top floor of a mechanical room of this building uh, i think it's uh the 15th floor or 16th floor we had to come through the floor scuttle and bring up some of the equipment, like these 70 pound sandbags, the coax. Now they're drilling uh, the frame for uh, the antenna assembly. And so we're gonna have to maneuver up that ladder, get past that elevator motor, and then take that other ladder up through the scuttle and the antenna will be up there and so work in progress all right a little application of force and some rope and we got the uh the 470 pound sandbags up here and basically i think we're setting the antenna here on the roof just setting it flat in the center and then these sandbags are going to hold down the legs and so this is the view at the top of the elevator room and where we're setting it on the top some of these antennas aren't in use like whatever this cell phone thing is a lot of it's unplugged uh, some of these other fancy ones are over here are okay that one there I think is illegal and I think they've asked that guy to remove it but well, this is what it looks like so far all right this is uh, looking down through the scuttle we've got the uh, coax you can see coiled it's feeding through the wall and then we're coming up right here with this other line of coax and we're gonna feed it out here into the center and I think that's where the antenna is going to sit, is in the center with those sandbags on it. I think after we get everything situated and the line run out, we get it to the antenna. It's coiled uh, here at the bottom and attaches through that PVC pipe. And then this is the whole antenna system sitting above the uh, roof line with the sandbags on it. All right, running an antenna wire. I'm going to chase along this conduit and then come down to where we're going to have the uh, repeater sitting. I'm going to speed up the recording a little bit here. Uh, basically, we're laying the wire across the, uh, the chase across the top. And uh, once we get the wire, we're going to put the uh, the repeater and everything down in the corner. That's Alex saying hi. We're going to put the repeater down there in the right corner behind that uh, last stack of uh, equipment and so uh, again you know just trying to make sure that we get the wire all run correctly uh, i'm going to drop it down as a loop it's going to go behind the pipe chase uh, and i'm going to grab it there with my hand pull it down and then uh, proceed to do the install just turn on the repeater for the first time and see if it works Sounds good to me. <laughs> Here is the magic. Don't you want to XLT communication duplexer and the Bridgecom repeater.
This is just affixed to the wall underneath the rack where we've been running the wire. Seems like it's working. Well, that ends the uh, saga of the repeater install uh, where we place it inside the mechanical room behind those racks uh, affixed to the wall with the duplexer and the repeater right on top of each other and then we uh, celebrate once we get down to the ground and now it's on to antenna testing this is wrmv 759 testing out the new uh, 650 repeater, one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, at 8th Street and 24. Uh, somebody's trying to key the repeater. All I'm hearing is uh, beeping tones. This is WRMV 759. Okay, I, uh, <laughs> I started talking to my phone like it's the radio. So, uh, yeah, I have two different radios now, so I can at least hear uh, any comments on the travel. So let me try to key, key up the 650 again. I'm not, I'm not hearing anything after I key up, but just a bunch of beeping on the, uh, on the repeater side. This is WRMV 759 on the 650 uh, unit that's calling in. I hear a uh, very, very low audio and nothing but static. And so uh, I'm not getting any good copy off the 650. Yeah, that was me. I'm on my 5 watt and I'm standing outside. And uh, yeah, I can't trip it other than just getting a tail tone. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Uh, I'm hitting it, uh, I guess, and I can hear it on my second radio, but I don't know if it's just proximity. Yeah, it's like his uh, antenna might be blocked or something, or his receiver uh, side is just not picking up, because 5-watt radio should be absolutely nailing that thing every time. Uh, I was able to hit the other repeater with a 2 watt radio over the last few days. Yeah, Roger, we got this thing in the center of the roof uh, with no obstructions around it. And uh, and it looked like a nice clean setup, but I don't know why uh, audio is not coming through. When I talk on it, how's my audio sound? Yeah, Roger, Roger. And when I hear you, uh, it is really faint, but a lot of static on it. Yeah, I should just be 
All right, test again, uh, RMVs, WRMV 759 on the 650. One, two, three, four, five. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, I heard you okay that time. Yeah, anybody else's audio that comes through it, all I'm hearing is uh, mostly static and barely any audible. Yeah, that's what I'm copying on it, too. Roger. I also started getting uh, some weird kind of end tones at the end of uh, this repeater. Uh, like four or five kind of weird bursts that come after it's been on for a little bit. Oh. Roger, Roger. Hey, I think we're going to head up to uh, Whataburger, and uh, I'm going to try both of them from there uh, again. This is WRMV 759. This is WRMV 759 on the 650 new repeater. WRMV 759. WRMV 759, am I hitting the 650? Doesn't look like it. WRMV 759 on the travel repeater. I don't think I'm hitting either one. <clears throat> Not a green channel. All right, can you copy uh, WRMV 759? Roger, I'm over at the uh, Air Force Academy flight line, uh, just on a handheld. Uh, yeah, Roger, Roger, I'm going to switch over and try the 650, see if I can hit the 650. This is WRMV 759 on the 650 repeater at Air Force Academy flight line. Uh, this is WRMV 759 on the 650 repeater. Am I hitting the repeater from the Air Force Academy? I can hear the courtesy tone. <clears throat> All right, uh, were you able to copy me on the 650? Well, clearly more work needs to be done. Uh, I try a little bit longer and uh, have tried over the last several days and still not able to really hit the repeater. Uh, doesn't matter what distance uh, I go, I can get the uh, the repeater tone back, but I can't get any audio in anybody else that talks to it. I can't really hear anything they're saying. So it's a work in progress. Uh, we're going to have to uh, check the antenna, check the height above the building, uh, maybe uh, – put some uh, type of meter measuring uh, thing on it just to see if we can determine what's going on. So I'll try to keep you up to date, but until then, this is K0FYR, Ham Solo, 73.